Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. What up, Triple B Squad? We back, baby. We know this be a little different. I'm just gonna get right into this food. But before I get into this food, I still need you to do something for me. What's that? Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe it. Hit that notification bell. Let's pray. God is good. God is great. Bless this food. Bless everyone watching my videos, my household, my loved ones. Amen. All right, guys, we are back. Let me get this out. I was so ready to get into this video because I was so excited about this video that I didn't even have a food set up like I normally do. So we got some soft chicken tacos right here, okay? These are soft chicken tacos. This comes from the Hacienda on the west side. Then... I got two of the uh, crispy tacos right here, okay? Let me get all the extra cheese and stuff in it, because these ain't, you know, these ain't really crispy no more. <laughs> so, we gonna uh, eat them the best we can. And then, I got the star of the dish. So, like, I wasn't even gonna film today, guys. I promise, I wasn't going to film but as we was getting these, man, I was so excited, like really excited, because if you ever hear me talk about one thing I love is tamales. So we was riding through the parking lot, right, guys? We got the taco. She got her food. And I was like, all right, what's that? I look over there. It's like we caught our eye at the same time, Shannon said. I saw the lady, the minivan, the minivan with the trunk up and a couple coolers out there. So I instantly knew it was a tamale lady. And she looked like an authentic tamale lady. So I had to stop and check. Y'all making jokes, but look. So me, if, if I pull up on the, the, the tamale lady, and I see him, and she's got some, looks like she got some big ones in here too. So she's got pork and chicken. And I was like, I'm gonna have to stop and see what she got. So I got some pork and I got some chicken. I got like eight of them in here. I was like, I don't even know how much money I got. Whatever I got, I'm gonna get some from you, right? So she didn't speak no English. That's a good sign. If your tamale lady don't speak English and she got somebody that translate with her or she just know how to tell you how much money they are, then you got a good tamale lady. If she speaks clear English, don't mess with her, all right? So, ooh, okay, okay. Let me see what we got here, y'all. They kind of unwrapped with the foil, but we're going to put it back. Yeah, she's got these. These are huge. Busting out the back over here. So she's got these already in the green wrap. So these aren't the normal that I always get with the the uh, corn. So I don't know which one that is, the chicken or the pork yet. I don't know if they hot, spicy, I don't know nothing. I just know the thing about it, Sam was like, man, them things is hot. Like the, they haven't come out that cooler, but they were piping hot, guys. They were like piping hot. Like so bad they had the, uh, the console, the console was steaming, you know? It was so hot that these were sitting on. So let me get these all out the bag. Then we gonna get ready for a thumbnail. Then we gonna get into eating y'all. So hopefully y'all is, is waiting around excited about these as I am. Cause these look like these the real deal. We gonna talk about it in a minute. Ah oh, man, I'm like, can I eat that too? Shoot. That they wrapped in? What kind of wrap is that? Comment below if you know what this green wrap is that it's in. And we gonna get into it, all right? All right. Woo. I'm excited. Did I already pray? I think I prayed. All right, let me get this, make sure this is all set up right and I'll be right back. All right, guys. All right, I don't know if I prayed or not, but let's go ahead. Yeah, I did, because I said pray for the household, my loved ones, and everybody. I did pray. All right, so let's go ahead and get in one of these tacos before I get into them tamales, because I know I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. But let me taste these, because I know once I get into those, I'm not going to stop. Here's that chicken. Like I said, it's from uh, La Hacienda. This is off of Lafayette Road in the Pendleton Pipe or the, the Pipe Plaza area. Mmm. Well, mmm. Yeah, sap your mama because I didn't have no other kind of sauce. There's some sauce on the side. Mmm. -hmm. 
spike this just a little bit. Yeah, I wasn't playing on this much, but I've been getting y'all a lot of Mexican food. But honestly, other than that meatloaf, Mexican is my favorite food. So there you go. If you didn't know, now you know. Mm-hmm. Mm that chicken is good. That's a hot sauce. <clears throat> Ooh. So good, y'all. Let's go on into this. I ain't gonna waste no time. Let's pull this back. And let's see what's going on up in here. Mm hmm. Like I said, it's still steam coming out of there. Can y'all see that? So a lot of times when I get these, I'm gonna have to uh, make some adjustments because I don't want to smash those. Let's scoot that over. Let's throw that in there, then y'all can still see it. But the one thing about when I get these from these um, places and stuff is that they be. Oh wow! I've, I was wondering why it was hard. Hmm. This is, these actually have pork ribs in them. I ain't never seen a tamale that still got the pork on the bone. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So the pork was still on the bone, guys, and I just cleaned it. That's something new. Never had a tamale where, hmm. But I usually say it's a lot of masa and a lot, a lot of meat. So it had that bone in there, but then that was where all my meat was. The rest of this is masa. It's good. What I like about it is it's a moist masa. So it's not all super dry when I'm trying to eat it. But then these enchiladas are just, or these tamales are just wet anyway. So hopefully this one is a chicken where I'll be eating two beefs. Let's go in and see what it is, guys. I'll take it from the front this time. A lot of masa. So this must be a pork again, or does the chicken? Okay. So her tamales are a little different because this is a. Um, it looks like just the chicken thigh still on the bone. <laughs> so it's like. I mean, the meat's there. You can see the meat's tender and juicy looking, but that's different. So it's like you got all that chicken meat. It's like the whole piece of chicken. And then you got the masa. So I guess you just eat it like that. All right. Not the traditional tamales. I keep, I'm going to keep saying that. I'm not gonna say they're bad. I'm gonna say they're missing they're missing some flavor. And I don't like the fact that I have to that I have to work for the, the, the food because I gotta strip it off the bone. So I can't just pick this tamale up. And eat it out the husk, you know? So, my question is, is this a, a, a 
a Mexican way of doing a tamale? Is this an El Salvadorian way? Is this a Colombian way? Like I know this is this can't be the traditional tamale because I've never had a tamale where they just put like a pork short rib or pork rib in there and surround it by masa and wrap it up. It's probably about the same amount of meat you would normally get in one because it's just one big chunk in the middle. So once again, a lot of masa left over. On the flavor wise, I hate to say it, the Hacienda is winning on the flavor tonight. So let me go ahead and try to eat this. Uh, this, see, this taco is a no-go on the shell wise, so I'll just scoop the meat up and eat that. Mm. Or eat it like a, a, a tostada. <laughs> so we're just gonna get messy. Okay. And you know these weren't the greatest, they weren't the worst. So don't discredit the lady in the back of the minivan selling tamales. chick one in there. Let's throw the salsa on there. I don't know if you have any of this on Tuesday, Sunday, I don't know. You know I me, mean? I be recording videos and I be putting them out. I don't be holding them. So <laughs> ain't no telling where y'all can get this video. Yeah, that was different on the tamale tip. That was really different. There y'all go. Thumbnail. All right, y'all, let's get into this uh, taco right here, this soft chicken. Mm. I thought I was gonna get a winner, 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 because that's how big these things was, how hot they was. I just never got a tamale where a whole bones were involved in there, you know? I wonder if I just picked that up and just bit down into it, you know? I'm glad I had this uh, food along with the tamales because I'd have been downstairs trying to eat Miss Shan's food. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I bought eight tamales, four and four. So I still got uh, like, um, I already ate two, so I still got six tamales left. I might go out and give them to some homeless people when I get done. Only because we just went shopping and uh, <laughs> this ain't worthy to take up freezer, freezer space today. So, I'm not saying they're horrible, but <clears throat> I won't eat them again. I know this is soggy now, so let me just eat this how I can. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed this meal. Like I said, on these tamales, I'm gonna get him a four because I just didn't like the whole bone of pork in there and the whole piece of chicken thigh, or whatever that was in that one that I ate of each. Uh, the moss was, like I said, it was a different consistency. It was more 
juicy, wasn't dry like. So I guess that's a different way of cooking it. Maybe it cooks different with the different style of leaves. Um, so yeah, other than that, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed. Like I said, I appreciate you guys' support. I love you guys' support. Keep watching those videos. But like I said, stick around because we're only gonna bring y'all different things as much as it, we try to bring y'all different content whenever we can. Our goal is definitely to bring you good food no matter what, but definitely not to tie you down with eating the same thing. So if y'all like us when we change up the menu, cool. If you got certain meals you guys like to see me eat, comment below and I'll try to accommodate those. If you got any food suggestions, I'll try to accommodate those. If you wanna sponsor any meals and make me go eat something that you want me to eat, you have that option too. Cash App, Instagram, DM me how you want to do it. Send me an email, however, and I got you. But other than that, I'm about to get up out of here, Triple B Squad. But before I do, I need you to do something for me. Hey, what's that? Give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below, baby. Don't get to share it out. Share it out. If you guys are new to the channel, don't get to subscribe and hit that notification bell look guys we woke up today we are blessed we have another chance to go out there and give it our best go out and help someone become a better person and be the blessing that the world needs and if you can't love yourself how the hell are you gonna love somebody else because it starts with you, you. all right y'all i'm big belly bob that's miss shan shorty recipes Peace. Thank <laughs> you.